Hi, Mike. Um, I'm calling from the East Long Meadow Skilled Nursing Home. Um, <laughs> oh, unfortunately, your grandmother passed this month. Oh, oh Jesus. No. A recent STD. It got her. Oh, no. Did her in. What was it? It happens a lot in nursing homes. It does, by the way. It does. Yeah. Oh, she was one of our most most active seniors. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is odd for a nursing home worker to be giving that. Type of is really? I feel like this has to be a HIPAA violation. I don't, I don't think this person is this really is Donna. some sort of say conflict. Right well, hey there, fellas. Hey, it's fine, Mike. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, no. he, doesn't, he doesn't have. Oh, right. He doesn't have. He doesn't have thumbs, guys. Kind of a break. I'm back. I'm back. I dropped my phone. I'm sorry. That's okay. How do you how do you pick up the phone when you drop it by Mike's penis? Out of curiosity. Well, I rested on the ball, but they're not <laughs> they don't have that much dexterity. Yeah, I can see how that. Would, yeah, that makes sense. Go ahead. You'll never. You'll never believe where I am, Kirk. Where are you? I'm at the bar stool opposite. Oh, jeez. Oh. Go ahead. I'm curious. You want change, buddy? I'm going to burn it down to the ground. <laughs> I don't think you need to do that. I don't, I, I, this is not a, this is not a, a show on a bar stool that advocates that stuff. Don't, that doesn't do any good. There's good, hardworking people there, too. They always knew I was dangerous. They True. Didn't, they didn't what know about, before. What about <laughs> Professor Gina? <laughs> She said, that, she said, the, if you want to change, the I know, birthday, I know, I understand. I, I understand it's a barstool sponsored sort of line of ideology, but it, well, it's not blind Mike's penis. There's got to be a better way. There has to be a better way. I would think, I, you know, well, I've, I've also come up with another solution. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to frame K Marco for rape. Well, again, again, I don't. Mean your old girl, statutory, not, nothing too bad. You know, <laughs> too bad. No, that's good. I, again, I don't that's think nice I, I, that's not that's not the solution. It's not just not because uh, then it's gonna get back to us. They're gonna find that it was my Mike's mm. penis who did it. Then, be then, rough. then we're then we're in trouble. You know. Like well, I, what if I wear a mask? Well, that's different. Over your <laughs> like over your head. You're saying. <laughs> Like a condom? Yeah, just, you don't cover any noticeable body marks, any any distinctive features. Okay. Well, you're just a penis. I don't know. You know. He's got some distinctive features. Yeah, well, I was going to say, what are, what, are, what, are, what are the distinctive features <laughs> of Blind Mike's penis? <laughs> again, I, I, we, don't, we, don't, we don't, again, you get, I'm telling you, we'll wind up getting in trouble for that. I appreciate uh, that you're willing to take chances, though, Blind Mike's penis. But let's think about it and find something a little more, you know, palatable for everybody. This is not your mother's penis. Oh, okay. That's right. It's not mom's what? Penis. Not my mother's penis. No, it's not. All right, bye, Mike's penis. That's not what you're talking about, Mike. <laughs> yeah, really, no kidding. I think I actually said that. That's a good point. <laughs> I wanted two more as so we wrap up the... Uh, say goodbye to everyone. Hi, uh, my name is Donna. I'm looking for a Michael Geary. Hello. Oh. Hi, Mike. Um, I'm calling from the East Long Meadow Skilled Nursing Home. Um, oh, unfortunately, your grandmother passed this month. Oh, oh no. Jesus! What was she doing in that nursing home? Yes. Well, you never talked to her. Oh, How the hell would you for know? Quite a while. I hear you guys. She says you guys talk about two times a year, so she's actually been right. in for a couple months. <laughs> That's true. Um, she says the last time you guys talked was last January, so you might not know. So let me get this right, Donna. Happens. First of all, Donna, good morning. Secondly, good you, morning, you had you, you had long you had long correspondence with Mima about how often she would talk to Mike. That's strange. Oh yes, yeah, she said she was a. Uh, she was upset with Mike. He would say on his radio show all the time how Probably much they talked, but I do brag really about that. Did a lot. Never talked to him at all. Hmm. What was her final words? Uh, Mike is fat. Oh. Um, he could oh, lose wow. some weight. But oh, oh, she said more. Mike, would you like to know how she how she died? I, I suppose <laughs> it was due to her recent complications with uh, a recent STD. It got her. Oh, no. Did her in? What was it? It happens a lot in nursing. It does, by the way. It does. Yeah. Oh, she was one of our most most active seniors. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is odd for a nursing home worker to be giving that type of information. Really, I feel like this has to be a HIPAA oh, violation. I don't, I don't think this person is really Donna. Some sort I'm of say conflict. Right now. This is not Donna. I'm telling you, this is not Mike. I, I think she, I think she's okay. Oh my Steve, I want to see if like you can tweet us a breaking news from the show if you like. That. Sounds like this is water. What's that? This is rough. We ever seen like a little kitten that had to be sprayed with water, spritzed with water to get her off. Thing. Couldn't keep her off. Oh, she loved it, huh? Hose. Oh man, she craved that dick. Well, I mean, you know, the men, like the a... women, you name it. Oh Jesus, she was grabbing <laughs> dicks left and right. Like a, like a hamster going at a water. Well, I mean, at least she. I mean, oh. you know. Oh my goodness. She enjoyed the end of her life. It sounds like. 
Oh, she was having a great time, Kirk. I think they're, that's good. her second to last day, she got stuffed in all the holes at the same time. <laughs> well, that's how I always hoped it would end. This seems a little, again, all originating from a very, earnest, very earnest moment on the air. That's from very Mike nice. That, who might cry that felt bad. Who knew? <laughs> Although I think we all knew once that happened. I, I assume we I sure, all knew. I certainly yeah. knew when he did it. <laughs> How was she doing, by the way? Boys, I have to... I think she's quite well. Well, oh, she, I mean, not, not well, that well. Oh, right. No, sure. I'm sorry, Donna. I, Don, I go spoke ahead. to her anyway. She Donna, go ahead. I, I, have to, I have to get going. Uh, we have other patients to attend to. Um, Mike, if you are struggling with this, uh, we have grief counselors available. And we also have weight loss counselors available <laughs> to help you with your well, This daily is an odd trouble. nursing thank home, you, but thank you so much, Donna. Thank you, Donna. That's a very professional, courteous call. It is very a much. lot of information. It sounds like she had excellent bedside manner with Mima too. <laughs> yeah, really that's... sitting there listening to her story. That's nice because yeah, yeah, when old people start yapping, it can be work to you. Yeah, you, you know, that's a For real sure. skill. And that nursing home really uh, has a lot Little of irons Jerry. in the fire. Jeez, God. <laughs> weight loss counseling for younger men. Jesus. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, maybe funny. Oh, go ahead. We get any more calls, Steve? We do. All right, we'll take them. Are they? Are they? They are. All right. Rousing. Hello, guys. It's Quantum Week Chris here. How are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. What's Hello, up, Chris. Quantum, Week, Quantum Week Chris? So, some people refer to me as Penis Head. But anyways, uh, so you're going to be off next week, Kirk. So I figured we're going to do a special edition of Quantum Week. Uh, if you'd I was like. That Mike, Mike, I would hope, was hoping he'd come and co-host with us again. Mike, we're going to cover again? a very special sure. year, 1915, March 1st. Why is that? It's unusual. Uh, it was the advent. It was the first gay porn film that ever came out. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. That. Um, we'll break it down. So I figured it'd be very topical. We can get Mike and Matt Carano to talk about their favorite films. Okay. And where the films are at today. Oh yeah, I don't. I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't know. But you know, Mike's Mike does watch a lot of gay pornography. It's also weird that. that you refer to him as Matt Carano. <laughs> What's well, for all the uh, our audience? Maybe doesn't know who he is. Right, like the audience right. know we are. I got gotcha. you. We're trying to cross he's over. A, he's here. a pro. But anyways, all this to say that, Mike, it's your dad. How are you? Oh, <laughs> I knew. I had a feel. We I just knew it wasn't Chris. I didn't know it was my dad. Did you have a good relationship with, with your, uh, well, his ex-mother-in-law, right? Yes. She, we just I got lo- the- I, I loved her very much. I was actually with her yeah. a couple of nights ago. I'm so <laughs> well, sorry to hear about that, Mike. Like, <laughs> what, what do you mean by- like he may have been participating. What do you, by, what do you mean by that, Mr. Gill? Well, we heard about a couple of nights ago. Were you just going to visit her and pay your respects? <laughs> you know- just give her a little of that man goo. Oh, <laughs> not so Jesus. subtle, but okay. <laughs> Jesus. Is... Did you ever get that sense, uh, Mike, uh, watching them? Or? I had no idea. That is, you know, really kind of How was their relationship in your mind? Was it, was it, was it the divorce hurt the relationship? Or was I mean? Yeah, I assume they never spoke. I didn't realize they. <laughs> maybe they don't. It was just carnal, you know. Yeah, maybe. It's just, maybe. When two people are attracted like that, sometimes it's just you no, get in the way of it. Don't talk. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is. Well, at least you kept in touch with them. <laughs> he sure did. Yes, Mr. Anyway, Deary, go ahead. Uh, Mike. Before I let you guys go, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Kirk. That's fine. Uh, if you're not busy next week, Mike, I know you're not doing anything because uh, you never do anything, but uh, we're going to be paying the house if you wanted to come over and help. Oh. Well, yeah, whatever you need, Dad. You got us. All right. All right, buddy. I love you. Have a good week, guys. Enjoy your vacation. All right. You too, Mr. Geary. Love you too. I assume that was.